As you can see, I've started Dr. Racket, and when you start it on your machine, you might see hashlang racket at the top, or it might be empty or say something else. Whatever it is, change it to hashlang schlate, because that is the language that we're going to be using. And then when you click the Run button here, at the bottom it'll say that the language now is schplate. And at this prompt, we can type schplate expressions, such as just the number 1. So 1 is an expression whose value is 1, but whose type is int. Uh, minus 42 is also an integer. 2.5 is not an integer. Uh, and since we don't need non-integer numbers in schplate, we just don't have them at all. So you can't write 2.5. You could write uh, large numbers with underscores, though, like you might use commas, just to separate some numbers. For the most part, I won't do that, and we don't deal with big numbers very often anyway, uh, but just so you know, you can write it that way. Some other forms of uh, simple data include booleans. So the boolean true is written hash true. You can see the value of true is itself, and its type is boolean with a capital B. False is, of course, hash false. You write strings in the way you would expect, in double quotes. So apple there is a string. Of course, strings can have spaces and punctuation inside of them, uh, and that's all fine. Um, they can't have new lines in them, and if you want quotes, then you have to escape. But we don't need to do that kind of thing very often. And then finally, we also have symbols in Schplate. A symbol is sort of like a string in that it just is a sequence of characters. Uh, but it's written with a hash quote, hash single quote at the front, instead of in double quotes. And the reason for symbols will become apparent later, but they're more restricted than strings in that I can't have spaces in the symbol. That would be two different things right here. Um, I can join them with an underscore, just like I, I would an identifier in general. Um, I can't have commas and exclamation marks and things like that. Schplate has some other forms of basic data, but these are the ones that we need most of the time.